Hello, my dear students. Your teacher, Hats for Words, is back with another installment of my Guess the Word game. But first of all, you guys are killing me. I can't seem to go for an hour without someone solving the riddle. Okay, let's see if this time we can go for two hours at least. <laughs> let's get started. Imagine you were considered one of the brightest minds of your time. You talked about such important things such as philosophy and religion and your writings were turned into textbooks used at universities to teach others. You were a bit of a stickler for details. So much so that people often joked that you were just splitting hairs as the expression goes, but actually the attention for details is what made you a success in the first place. They even gave you a nickname on account of that trait. You created a way of thinking that was called by your last name and your followers called themselves by your middle name, which also happens to be where you were born. You discussed such things as the concept of free will and the Virgin Mary, but some people started to disagree with your way of thinking and started to personally attack you and your followers. The attacks became so vicious that eventually your name became synonymous with stupidity. It would take 600 years before people started looking at your work again in a positive manner and it will probably take another 600 years, if ever, for your name to stop meaning what it means. Such is the nature of language. So, what is the word I'm looking for? If you know the answer, please write it in the comments below. Oh, by the way, there is an article of clothing named after this person as well. So for bonus points, include that item as well. Also, I would like you to rate my video so I know how I'm doing and subscribe to my channel. And the button is <clears throat> over there. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. my students. I'll see you all very soon. Oh, by the way, Valentine's Day is coming up soon and I'd like to send you all a Valentine's card. So go to my website, hotforwords.com, sign up and then check your email for a card from me. Also, I don't have a date for Valentine's, so I'll pick out a name and send an actual card to someone through the mail. So hurry up and sign up. The link is on the right.